All right, this is it. Akarashi. How do you even do this? Just Dive do in. a big bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from Scorching, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. My boy Guille, real for fun, real for food. Today's my last day and we're gonna go on an epic food tour. Delicious food you must try when in Rio. This is like the national dishes. We're gonna start off with? Feijoada, which is uh, black beans with pork meat, uh, kale, orange, rice, uh, cassava flour. It's like the main Brazilian dish, right? Awesome, must. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, it's like when you go to Vietnam, you must have a uh, pho, right? Great. Then we're gonna have acai, okay. which is a fruit from the Amazon, it's very exotic. Super okay. fruit. Super fruit, it's because they're like super food. And then at the end of the tour, before we drop you off at the airport, we're going to have a, like a dish called acarajé. Acarajé? Acarajé, oh. which is kind of like a, a croqueta stuffed with shrimp, uh, okra, and some other seasonings and stuff. And we're trying the feijoada here? The Academia da Cachaça, that means the Academy of Cachaça. Wow. They have like over, like, I don't know, like a couple hundred Cachaças. Uh, cachaças. Well, I'm gonna have one because it's my last day. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. Oh, nice. This is it, right, right here? Yes. Just in this terrace? Exactly. Beautiful. So here is Academy de Cachaça since 1985, as old as me. I was born in 85, and over here we have all the Cachaças. Never any Cachaças. Delicious. Sugarcane liquor. This little shot here comes with the feijoada. Basically, it's a cachaça with lime and honey, and it's delicious. It's uh, cold, refreshing, perfect for this hot weather. So, this cachaça? Cachaça. Oh, wow, it's almost like a limoncello. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Sweet. it's nice. Sweet. Very nice. This one, like alcohol wise, super low. Yeah. So, again, they have over 300 types of cachaças. It does not end. You can see their entire wall. You go inside, you can just walk around, choose one, say, I like that one, or go through the menu and see you know, the different prices, different alcohol grades, how old they are. It says everything right here, eight years, two months. So obviously older, they've probably been aging in barrels, right? I'm excited, man. Feijoada, first time trying. I can't believe I haven't tried it till now, but obviously we've been trying to dive into the food in every single place, so we haven't had time for it. We kept it for the last day. All right, first time trying feijoada. We have a mix of things, kale, orange, rice, cassava flour. We got pork with uh, with black beans, and it's different pieces of the pork. You have here the sausage. Let's start with the sausage. Let's start with the sausage. Mm-hmm. Kind of smoky. Real good. Kind of so smoky. It's been, uh, it's basically been like bathing in the in the frijoles and the black beans. Yes, we call fish Mmm. So, put that. You're gonna love it. Mmm. Spice? A little bit. Just put it all, man. Oh yeah. Put it all. Let's do this. Yes. So excited. Mm-hmm. He was telling me that usually they have every piece of the organ here. Yeah. Know? But this one, they're keeping it super clean. Yeah, in fact, not not organs, but more... Body parts. Body parts, yeah. Tail, ear, tongue. It, <clears throat> usually people are kind of like afraid to try all these parts because it's very unusual, right? Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, it's the most delicious part. You know? I think so. It's kind of like more gourmet. Yeah. Yeah, but I like it as well. It's just different style, right? And I gotta say, this mix is delicious. Yeah. So many different yeah. flavors and textures. Mm -hmm. In terms of having the orange, it's a nice burst, really refreshing, tropical. Kale mm -hmm. as well, very tropical. I love yeah, the ribs, beans, man. Yeah, ribs, sausage, uh, jerk beef, you know? Mm -hmm. Then I like the mix with the cassava flour, the kind of, yeah, the crunchiness. The orange cut the saltiness, you know. So, mm. do this mix: kale, cassava flour, and orange all at the same time. Kale, cassava flour, and orange. Good. Right. And it has some pork crack cracklings as well. Pork cracklings. Look. Okay. Oh yeah. And now a piece of orange. Mm. Sweet and salty at the same time. It's crazy good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really heavy. In Brazil, we serve feijoada on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. So you can have Saturday, take Saturday or Sunday to rest. 
Okay. It's a happy meal. So that's the reason behind yeah, it. Yeah, the reason why we came today, which is Wednesday, is because they serve every day. But this restaurant serves every day. Yeah, most of the restaurants that are specialized in fish oil, they only serve. I'm talking about Rio, okay? If you go to Sao Paulo, I think it's a uh, Wednesday and Saturday. Oh wow. Yeah, and here in Rio, usually Friday or Saturday. Mm. Yeah. I love it. I really, really love it. It's good, man. Yeah, man, it's different. It's good. So it's like a Portuguese African influence here. You have two, right? The mix of cultures, which is what Brazil is. Mm -hmm. And the French cassoulet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It is a phenomenal dish. I'm super happy that I tried on the last day because I feel like I would have wanted this like every day. Yeah. So we tried so many things. Man, today we're gonna try some other things that we're gonna like blow your mind. Some street food, some acai smoothie, you know. Mm. Delicious. And this is a huge portion. This for mm -hmm. at least four people. Mm -hmm. For three of us, and we have so much. Wow. Gra ribs. Grab a piece of these uh, ribs. Costelos. Costela. Costela. Look at this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mind blowing. Mind, mind blowing, mind blowing. I've actually never had ribs that are like the blacking sauce. Yeah. Mm. So good. And I love the cassava, man, the texture, you know, that gives to you. Saoji. 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 Drinking chili sauce. You're wild. Ooh. This is a straw wood. Mm. Love this dish. The national dish of Brazil. Mm -hmm. So good. Like, too good. I mean, it is just phenomenal, man. And it's, is it an expensive dish or no? Here, it's like $30 for four people, mm -hmm. which I believe is is good deal. Mm. But if you go to like some really local authentic places, you get for like, man, Three one bucks. plate, five, five, six dollars. That's it. So you really for actually for two people. You eat something like this for five bucks. Yeah, it's not gonna be beautiful. It's not gonna be colorful. Colorful? No, no, it's gonna be colorful. But I don't know, man. The way they do here is also nice, mm -hmm. but more gourmet style, right? But I like it. Oh, I'm gonna say it's probably my favorite dish. Obviously, I love the meat, but this is like, wow, it's mind bending. How how unique it is. At the end of this tour, man, I'm gonna take you to a place where you're probably gonna say it's going to be your favorite Brazilian snack. Not food, snack. Mm. There's more huh. Yes. All right, what a delicious meal. 171 for that. So like $36, something like that. Pretty good deal. I think it's perfect for three people. Don't eat that. You're gonna eat a lot of food the rest of the day. We're gonna have more like snacks today. We ate the whole thing though. It was freaking delicious. Something you have to try. Obviously, national dish of Brazil, feijoada. Let's go try some acai. Now we're going to have acai, which is a fruit from the Amazon. Uh, it's our favorite place in Rio, and it's considered like the best acai in Brazil. So acai has become a huge phenomenon in America recently. Acai bowls for breakfast, you know, you yeah. mix it with like granola, fruits. I like it straight. I had it in Suriname in the jungle. It's not really the Amazon jungle for them because it's not considered actually part of the river, but it's part of the ever, you know, the big Amazon rainforest. And, you know, I had it straight from a vendor that pulled it out of there in a huge bag and just drank it like that. A little different, right? Right. Uh, here we'll be able to have like uh, plain. Some people put uh, syrup. They don't do it with the syrup. They do it with the, like kind of like a honey, right? Yeah. And then um, yeah, it's great. I mean, the only one better than this one just when you get out of the tree, like straight from the jungle. Then you have to fly to Belém, to like Combo Island or to the Amazon, right? But man, outstanding product. Like really good. Like really high quality. And it's considered a superfood, so it's healthy, antioxidant, right? Uh, yeah, it's delicious. After a 10-minute drive, we are here, ready to try some acai, the best superfood. Hey, bom dia. Come on. David, placer, placer. Acai. The good one. The good one, the best one. Yeah. Let's do it. Love it. Love this spot. It's like a juice bar, right? 
We order like plain acai, and acai with uh, sort of like honey, which is the sugarcane syrup, right? And then here we have like a granola mix of nuts. Uh, yeah, man, it's very rich. And here tapioca flakes. You know what's amazing is that it looks very thick. And, like, and, and really dark purple. Really dark purple, yeah, I love it, man. It, and, very bright. And when it's like with nothing, it's really good. Obviously, honey makes it a little sweeter. And if you add the rest of the stuff here, you just make it into a bigger meal. Yeah, let me see if this one is plain. This one is plain. We'll try plain first. This is plain. Yeah. So it's just like very thick. Um, it's good, but I'm sure this one's gonna be up my alley. A sweeter one. A sweeter one. A sweeter one for sure, man. <laughs> I love it. It's thick. So good. There is something uh, interesting about this granola. Yes. Oh, the granola. This is a project we made with the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> the best. So one thing the owner was telling me is that the, the acai that leaves Brazil is pasteurized. This is like the purest form. I mean, it is amazing. Sweeter for me is better, but it's you know it's honey, so it's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Love the granola, man. Yeah. So good. Nice. Mm hmm. Super thick. Super thick. Super rich. You can feel the super food. You yeah. can really feel it in every bite. Yeah, you feel it in your body. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh wow. So crunchy. Mm. The granola. It's delicious. It, I would say it's like a, in terms of texture, it's like a, b between like ice cream and yogurt, like in there, yeah. you know? And it yeah. keeps melting, right? So eventually it'll become like very liquidy. Tapioca. Tapioca flakes. It looks like marshmallows. <laughs> very crunchy. Crunchy, huh? Mm -hmm. The one they're having is pure, no honey. I recommend with honey. Mm. Sugarcane uh, syrup. 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 So it's a great source of iron. Uh -huh. yeah. Great. So, so if you want to be really healthy, eat this every day. Yeah. Even though it's filling, I feel like in an hour I'll be hungry because it's straight fruit, you know? Yeah. Mm. Oh wow. Delicious. I literally can have another one, that's that good. Oh, the best acai I ever had in my life. Right here. Wow. Cocoa almonds. Mmm. Crunchy, chocolatey. Mmm. Delicious. Come, come, come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a taperebá shot, which is cachaça with taperebá uh, fruit. It's a exotic fruit from the Amazon. Okay, guys, let's try this. Sweet and sour, wow. right? Yeah, it's almost like a smoothie. That's what it tastes like, thickness-wise. And it's smooth, the smoothie, well, nice and cold. Well, you can taste a little bit of alcohol. No, you can taste the alcohol, yeah. but it's super fruity. Yes. Obrigado. Right, nice to have you here. Thank you. I heard you went around 80 countries, is that true? Yeah. Oh, this is a, how lucky you are. No, man, lots hope, of work. Hope you bring some good things all over. For sure. Wherever you go. The best acai in Rio or in Brazil is right here. Hey, man, obrigado. Yeah. Valeu, so, valeu, abração. So. Let's go. Let's continue this epic tour. Let's do it. This is called Laranjeiras. We are driving by the Fluminense Football Club, soccer stadium. It's right there? Yeah, right there. And uh, on our left hand side is the Governor's Palace. So we're here at third spot, Takaka do Norte. Let's see what they got. Yeah, here we kind of call like the little Amazon where we have the, all the products from the Amazon, right? So we're going to have the Brazilian full which is the mini oak starch with jambu leaf, shrimp, uh, tapioca gum. Uh, we're gonna have this amazing beer called Serpa, and we're gonna have a shot of uh, jambu cachaça. The one that kind of like giggling your tongue, yeah. Here we have takaka, which is uh, mini oak starch with jambu leaf, uh, shrimp, 
tapioca gum. So just get in here, get this. Oh wow, super green, huh? Oh, look at that. Tapioca gum. Tapioca gum is right there. How do you get that? By slurping, right? Yeah, from, from the manioc. Oh man. <laughs> it's like tingling already. Tingling, yeah. Now that you had the, the shot of uh, jambu. Oh wow. Yes, add the shrimp. How do I eat it? Straight? Yeah, whole it, thing? Oh, the whole thing. And drink the yellow liquid. Yes. With this? Yes. Oh wow, so it is very like Vietnamese. Yeah, it's kind of like mm. the, the, you know, the Brazilian food. Mmm. So it's, um, my mouth is so tingling that I can't taste a lot of the stuff. Yeah, it's called Tukupi. Tukupi, mmm. But it makes your tongue tickle, right? Everything. It feels almost like the Szechuan pepper. Just numbing sensation. That gummy, mmm. Oh yeah. So next up, we're trying the Serpa, Serpa Export. Oh wow, very nice and refreshing lager. Hey, it's different. It's a little crafty. Mm. With this heat outside, this is a must. This is fire, but you gotta say the tingling sensation, hard to get used to. Oh, and we have some chili, so if I want to, put chili right there, put it on top like that. Then get it. Mmm. Picante. Mm hmm. But good. I like it. Wow. So different. What a unique dish. And this comes from Para State, right? Para State. So that's the Amazon. That's literally the state right next door to Amazonias, right? It's good, but you gotta slow down because the noise sensation is pretty intense. <laughs> One of my favorite snacks. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> very hot. Yeah, very different. And this is like a, I guess it's like a diner, right? So you have the bar area, and that's it. Just stools, people sitting outside, people sitting here next to me. In the back, the guys are making acai bowls, they have cachaça, they have beer, and they have this delicious, mmm, muito picante. Está pimentado. Obrigado. Obrigado. Ciao, ciao. One more stop. One more stop before the airport. From Takaka, we're now he heading to have Acarajé. So from Parai State, to Bahia State. Let's go. This is Atejo de Flamengo, which is the main street here in the area of Flamengo. So that is, I guess it'd be like more north from where we were staying, which is Botafogo, but that is more north from Cucacabana, right? Yes. So this is going up, up, right? They have a beach here. They have this super long street. It's almost like a highway in terms of how big it is. Four lanes, four lanes. And yeah, can we try this croqueta? We made it. We are here like at a flea market and this is the vendor selling the delicious croquetas. Bon tarde, bon tarde. Bon tarde, bon tarde. Tudo bem? Camisa feia essa. Camisa feia. Ah, camisa bela, não? Linda. He has the best acarajé in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah? The best, number one. Já tá indo embora ele? É, isso aí é abatapá. É. Quiabo não. Pão francês, leite de coconut, coconut milk, salad, canal aqui no gaio, e now shrimp. Obrigado. <laughs> yeah, it's like shrimp, okra, okra paste, uh, coconut milk with, yeah, like French bread. Coconut milk, shrimp, onions, nuts. All right, this is it. Acarajé. Oh, how do you even do this? Just Dive do a it. big bite. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. It's so delicious. Oh wow. I love the shrimp. A little spicy. Fried on the outside, mush in the inside. Love this. I've never had a croqueta like burger before. Kind of like a burger, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll say it, my favorite snack today. For sure. Mm -hmm. So filling. Look at this. It's the croqueta. He stuffed it, right? With all these different <laughs> ingredients. Yeah, there's o o o okra paste. So okra paste, sorry. Okra paste. Shrimp, nuts. Wow. Cilantro. So good. Mm. Yeah, this uh, snack has some huge African and Indian influence. So, this is a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Oh, number one. Yeah, number one. Number one. Muy bom, no? Muy obrigado. Obrigado, você. Delicioso. It's so style, look. Style. <laughs> like like Indians. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao. Bye, ciao. By the way, it costs 10. So 10. 250. 250? Oh, no. 10. $2. $2, yeah. So 10 reais. Airport? Yes. So good, huh? Yeah. Delicious. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this non stop diverse food tour here in Rio de Janeiro. It was epic. Feijoada, açaí, tacacá, da, da da and carajé. then carajéa. And that is all the different like styles of food of Brazil. You know, Brazil is super diverse, 27 different states. Yes. Obviously, in the north, it's more jungle, more Amazon. So each one was from a different place. So where is uh, Feijoada from? Yeah, Feijoada represents like Minas Gerais in Rio de Janeiro state, and then Takaká, Pará state, uh, Açaí, the Amazon in general, and then Acarajé from Bahia. Awesome. Yeah, so that's one of the cool things about Brazil, very diverse, uh, lots of culture, lots of different foods. Yeah, man, thank you, welcome again. It was a great time. Thank you, bro, thank, thank you. you. Well, this is the end of our tour. David's been in Brazil. I've been in Brazil. Thank you, River Fun, River Food. Thank you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see the next travel food adventure somewhere on this planet. Viva Brasil. Viva Brasil. Obrigado. Muito linda. <laughs> <laughs>